Good morning, Calvary. Happy Friday. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. We're continuing to uh, look at the Gospel of Mark. We're in chapter 9, wrapping it up uh, this morning. Hey, before I dive into the text, uh, tomorrow is Halloween. And here at Calvary, we're going to be hosting one of the Fright Night on Main Street locations. And so uh, I just want you to be aware. First of all, we're going to do church at our regular time, 5 o'clock. Uh, Saturday night, and then of course regular services on Sunday, but Saturday night we're going to have a, a, a little bit shorter worship service so we can get out and enjoy the uh, festivities in our parking lot from 6 to 9. Uh, we're going to have game booths, we're going to have uh, bounce houses, we're going to have free food, free candy, we're going to have food trucks here where you can buy some uh, cool treats. It's just going to be a great time, and I want to encourage you to come, I want to encourage you to bring your, your neighbors, your family, your friends. Uh, if you're like bored and you want to help serve, then just show up. We'll, we'll give you something to do. But uh, it's going to be a great time. And by the way, if you're thinking how you can do church and then go right into a, a Halloween party, uh, you can come in your costume if you want. Uh, go ahead and bring the kids all dressed up. You come dressed up. We're all fine with that. Uh, and, uh, and if you don't want to do church before the festivities, then just come to the, the party and then come to church tomorrow, on Sunday. That'll all be great as well. Hey, uh, we're looking at Mark 9, uh, just a couple of short verses about salt. Now, how many of you salt your food without tasting it? You know who you are, and I, I confess, I don't. I, in fact, I rarely add salt to my food. Salt is not my flavor. I'm a sweet guy. Probably explains my ice cream addiction. But, uh, uh, but a lot of you like salt, and salt has a, a, a purpose, and, and trust me, I like salt too because I've tasted those unsalted vegetables in cans that are horrible. But uh, we put on salt, uh, put salt on our food for a couple of reasons. We put it on there to, to add flavor. We put it on there to season our food so that it tastes better. And, and of course, salt was used in the ancient world, especially still is today, as a preservative. It's, it's something that you salt meat, you can store it without a refrigerator uh, for an extended period of time. So, so salt flavors and preserves. Now, given that, listen to these strange but powerful verses of Jesus. Verse 49 and 50, Jesus says, for everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if the salt has lost its saltiness, how will you make it salty again? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. Now, I want to I just look at one image that he says, and that is that we're all going to be salted with fire. What a strange expression, isn't it? Salted with fire. I don't, I don't know if I like that. So what Jesus is saying is that you and I are going to be seasoned. We're going to be flavored. We're going to be preserved by fire, by difficulties, by struggles, by trials, even by persecution. Why? Why, why doesn't God just protect us from the pain and hurt of this world? Well, because God wants us to be like Jesus. Let me say that again. The reason God doesn't protect us from the pain and sufferings and trials of this world is because he wants us to be like Jesus. Let me just remind you and me of God's purpose in our lives. James chapter 1, uh, the apostle says, Consider it all joy, my brothers, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its perfect result, that you might be mature and complete, lacking nothing. Uh, trials, salted by fire. And then Romans chapter 5, the Apostle Paul says, uh, we rejoice in our sufferings. Let's say it again. He rejoices in his sufferings because suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint. So God wants us to be mature and complete. He wants us to have the character of Christ. And the only way that happens is through the trials, through the tribulations, through the pain, through the difficulties, through the persecutions, being salted by fire. And since we're all going to be salted by fire, can I just encourage you to respond well? When the trials come, when the failures come, when the difficulties come, when the hurt comes, when the persecution comes, let's respond well. Let's rejoice because God is with us, God loves us, and God is growing us to be like Jesus. And so I want to encourage you to endure with Jesus, endure with joy, because in doing that, you're going to become more like Jesus, which is the goal anyway. You're going to be mature and complete 
lacking nothing. So today I'm praying for you while you're in the fire. God bless.